Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome to a video I've been looking forward to doing for the whole series now. We have been developing our website and it is looking quite nice. We've got a whole bunch of different content, uh, we've got things like navigation bars, social media icons, maps, contact forms and so much more. And hopefully our websites are now at a stage where we're ready to sort of get it up on the internet and for sort of ready for other people to use. So if we go up to the navigation bar at the moment when we're actually looking at the preview for our website you can see it's sort of being hosted on 192.168 so basically what all of that means is it's being stored on your computer and nobody else is going to be able to access it so if you want other people to be able to access it you need to have it on a server and sort of give it a name address a name and address and everything like that so if we were to take a look at my website here you can see to access it you just go to virtushub.co.uk and that's pretty much what I want to show you guys how to do in today's episode so you can get hosting from a whole bunch of different places um, for me for my website I just use GoDaddy it's a nice and simple hosting place um, it's gonna be the process is gonna be slightly different for each sort of hosting provider that you have but in terms of the technology and sort of the way that you're gonna be setting up inside of Adobe Muse itself is gonna be exactly the same so we're gonna be focusing more on the Adobe Muse side of things rather than the hosting side so get yourself some hosting and also a domain name as well once you've done that, what we need to do is we need to go into our hosting and we actually need to create a FTP account so that we can actually upload our, you know, upload our website. So for most, you know, sort of panels and stuff, you can do that quite easily. Um, I'm going to show you sort of how to do it with GoDaddy and it should be the same sort of thing with whatever you use. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this into my GoDaddy hosting panel and let's go ahead and do this and I'm just going to go ahead and create an FTP account. Now this FTP account is pretty much going to allow me to communicate with Muse and sort of link the two of them up and then use it to upload the, web the website to the internet. So we've got to go ahead and create one. So we've got a few main things that we need to take into consideration. So login, so that's going to be the login for your FTP client that's built into Adobe Muse. So for now, let's just go ahead and call this um, new test account maybe. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. Give yourself a password. I'm not going to go ahead and read that out for you guys. Uh, anything you like. And then directory. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to get rid of this new test account because we just want it to go straight into the public HTML file so that everyone else can see it. You can add a quota on here if you want to, but for now I'm just gonna leave that blank. I'm not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna go ahead and press create FTP account. And there you are, you can see it's all been done. So now we actually need to go ahead and link that up with Muse. Now, I'm not actually gonna be linking this website up to you know the internet for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I do it on my website as well. Keep it in mind guys, my website was actually made inside of Adobe Muse. So it just goes to show you sort of just how much you can do with it. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you how to link it up. Just give it a second, it is quite slow this morning. Okay, cool. So we've got that done and now what we need to do to upload it to an FTP host is go ahead and go down to file and press upload to FTP host. Give it a second and it's going to say connecting to FTP server most of the time. Just give it a moment and it's going to ask you for a couple of details. So first things first, you need to type in the FTP server. That is going to be the domain name that you have just purchased or that you have been given by your provider. For me, that is going to be virtushub.co.uk. Or if I was to go on to GoDaddy that, and give myself a new one. So for example, if I wanted, let's go on, let's put something on here, find the perfect domain name. You could type in anything you want, hella awesome site, search domain, and then you could go and buy this domain and then that would be your server name. Cool. Once we've done that, we need to put in the username and the password that we just created. Um, so for me, I can't actually remember. So for me, I can't remember exactly what I just called that. So I'm going to have a look for another look real quick. And if I'm correct, that should be new test account, new test account. And just like an email address, it's going to be at virtushub.co.uk. And then the password is going to be whatever you set it to be. And then if you go for method, make sure that is set to FTP and then just leave these other options to just blank or default for now. And then site URL, leave that as default. 
you, and then as for upload, the first time that you do this, you want to make sure you set this to all files. And then if you're uploading sort of like an updated version of the website, you would go ahead and hit only modified files. The reason why we're going to be doing this is because you don't want to be uploading, you know, the same files over and over and over again. It just saves so much time if you only upload the changed files, the files that you've actually made a change to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, press OK. And then the upload process is just going to go on here. It only takes a couple of seconds. Using Adobe Muse to get your website up on the internet is really, really simple. And when it's done, you can see it's now opened me a new tab and it's got the latest version of my website. I could go ahead and do that again and I could test this just to show you how sort of live it is. So if I go ahead and create some text in here, anything you like, I'm going to call this uh, test text and I'm going to set this to white so that we can see it. There you are. And once again, we are going to go ahead and upload to FTP host. We're going to keep all of the same details, press OK, let it upload. And then if we go to the 3D page on my website, it's not going to happen for you because I probably would have deleted it by the time you actually get there. So if I go ahead and open this up now, and if we go to paths, and if we go to 3D art, you can see we've now got my test text, and this is on the live version of the website. So, like I said, uploading a website using uh, uploading a website to hosting with Adobe Muse could not be simpler. It's really simple. Get yourself some hosting once you're ready with your website and just give it a go. Anyway, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. As always, keep on creating, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.